Good morning, guys. Hey, so I know it's just a few minutes before nine o'clock. It's like 10 till nine. Um, and I'm sorry that I said nine o'clock. I wasn't thinking because I'm gonna go to nine o'clock service. So I wanted to come to you this morning to be able to share with you our last Easter egg in the Easter egg story. So remember, last Sunday was Palm Sunday, right? Let's go through them real quick. And then, let's see, Monday, East, um, Monday of Holy Week was when Jesus went to the temple and he found all the people there that had made it a marketplace and he was upset and he turned the tables over and he said, this is a place for prayer. Remember that story? Um, hey, Heather, happy Easter, sweet friend. And then on Tuesday, we read about how Jesus taught about love, love one another. He gave us the command. And then Wednesday, about Mary and how she put oil on his feet and let's see that's sunday monday tuesday wednesday here's thursday remember this one the lord's supper remember that his last supper with the disciples and then friday we had the cross good friday remember good friday that's when he was arrested and crucified and then yesterday we had this gray egg. And remember our story yesterday told us to think about it as a stone, the stone that they put in front of the, the tomb. So I'm gonna turn in our book and see what it says about Easter Sunday. So here we go. Now, get your own copy. This is amazing. It's by Natalie Ard, The Easter Story Egg. These eggs are so beautiful just to keep sitting in your house to remind us of what Jesus did for us which is what we celebrate today. Not just the crucifixion, but the resurrection. He conquered death so that we could have hope of eternal life. So turn on your listening ears. Here we go. Easter Sunday. As the new day was dawning, the trees began to sway. An angel of the Lord appeared and rolled the stone away. Friends went to visit his tomb. They brought burial spices of plenty. But when they arrived at the cave, they discovered... His grave was empty. When his friends entered the tomb, they found burial cloths of linen. He had done just as he had promised. Yes, Jesus had risen. Amen. Amen. It's so wonderful. Jesus died for our sins. He paid the ultimate price. Now his kingdom is our present. He has given us eternal life. Oh, those of us that believe in him and put our trust in him, we will have eternal life in heaven. We have that because of Jesus. We have hope of that because of Jesus. The heavy rock couldn't hold him. Jesus needed to be free. He conquered death to save us, to save both you and me. And there's the picture of the tomb. And there's the angel. Let's see what the next page says. Let's see what's in the egg. Let's pause for a minute. Let's see. It's empty, just like the tomb. The stone was rolled away. Let this empty egg remind you of the tomb that was found bare. Although his body is gone, oh, he can be found everywhere. He is in the blooming flowers and the emerging butterflies. He is in each and every raindrop and the clouds up in the sky. Easter is Jesus raised from the dead. He is our hope and joy, our life's daily bread. Jesus arose from the grave. To him be glorified. For Jesus has risen. Yes, Jesus is alive. And that, my friends, is the best news ever. 1 Peter 1.3 says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. He is 
alive, my friends. Jesus is alive. He is risen. He is alive, and he is preparing a home for us. So let's go be united in the passionate pursuit to reach the next generation, to, to build up and to reach out and to share the good news of Jesus because it's all about Jesus. Kiss in hand. I love you guys. I'm going to service. Join us on YouTube, Cape Carter Baptist Church. Service is starting in just a few minutes. If it's not the nine o'clock, then it'll be streaming at 1030. So join us today. Hey, and in case you missed it, I streamed um, Sunrise Service Live on the beach. So check that out too. I love you guys. See you tomorrow in chapel. Bye.